My name's Will. I host a podcast called Spiritual Misfits and facilitate an online space for anyone who's found themselves feeling like they're on the fringes of faith and spirituality. Have you ever felt like a spiritual misfit? Does that phrase resonate with you? For many of us, it describes the feeling of having grown up or spent a lot of time in church or within the Christian tradition and then arriving at these points where things feel a little out of alignment. Maybe we don't believe everything we used to believe or we don't feel the same level of belonging that we used to feel. It can almost feel like we've got one foot on the outside and one foot on the inside. You don't quite know where to go next. Sometimes we've internalized this idea that faith isn't supposed to change that the faith we receive we're supposed to keep in its exact same form until our dying day. But nothing in life is actually really like that. Anything living, healthy, grows, changes, evolves. And those transitional points when things are in flux and changing can be really uncomfortable. That's the misfit experience. But even within the Christian tradition, there's been a whole history of people talking about that. St. John of the Cross famously talked about the dark night of the soul. Father Richard Raw talks about how our faith can move from orientation to disorientation on the way to reorientation. And that's a cycle that we can move through again and again. In recent years, Brian McLaren has talked about four stages of faith, from simplicity to complexity to perplexity and then harmony. So the important thing to remember is, when you feel like you're in those in-between moments, in the wilderness, in the difficult places where things don't make sense, that's actually normal. And if you're there, there's nothing wrong with you. You can keep going and know that you're moving towards the next stage of faith and spirituality.